I always struggle with ways to add extra space and extra things into my happy planner. I really like the idea of adding something concertina style so that you've got more landscape to kind of plan and create. So I decided to look into, because I think we've all been there, we've all scrapbooked at some time or another. And I remembered that there was a really cool fold out thing that you could do with scrapbooking. It was kind of like a memory book. And I thought, hmm, light bulb. Why not try that in my happy planner to add extra space for my November goals? Because I just wanted something a little bit more fun and a little bit more jivey. So went in and created kind of a extra spaced notebook for my goals. And we're going to go through that process really simply. It's really easy to do and you just need to test it a couple of times to see what size you want. You might want it smaller, you might want it bigger. Who knows, you can probably make it as big as you want it as long as it folds into your, into your happy planner. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it really simple as always and considering that this is something totally different and we're focusing on goals for this particular creation, I would love to know what happy planner goal you have in the comments below. And also, while you're there, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. I always love subscribers. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you in other videos as well. Um, what I'm going to start doing, however, super fun announcement, is I'm really excited to start showcasing some of the things that people have been doing with the videos we've been having. So from potentially the next video onwards, we're going to be adding in some really cute, um, you know, viewers choice kind of things. Um, you can head over to hashtag the art of Bujo to see some of those um, those tags in action because there are almost 73,000 people that have tagged us, which is exciting. So exciting. And it's just so great to see people's creations. So let's get started with today's happy planner fold out goals book. Great, for today's project, I'm using two pieces of half sheet and I'm using a dotted page from my Happy Notes. I'm going to trim off the punched edges of my Happy Notes and just to create a little bit of um, extra space. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some really thick washi tape. Here I'm using the Amy Tangerine washi tape. It's nice and thick and really bright and colorful. So I'm going to line them up and add my washi tape. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the washi tape flat on my table and I'm going to line up the page. Once the page is lined up perfectly I'm going to stick it down flat and then add the next page to it. I'm going to do that for all the kind of bends and all the sides and once we're done we're going to put another piece of washi tape over the top. Now that we've popped our washi tape everywhere, we're going to trim off the tops of the washi tape and we're also going to make sure that the, the bends can actually bend because essentially what we would have done if this were a scrapbook is we would have scored the edges to make sure that they bend. But because we're not doing that, we are going to make sure that the middle parts actually do bend by folding them a couple of times inwards and outwards. Great, now that we've got them bending really well, we're going to get a ruler and we're going to, as far or as high as you would like it to be, we're going to create two cut marks horizontally across the paper from fold to fold. Now I know this sounds a little bit confusing at first, but that's really straightforward as you can see in the video. Here we're just going fold to fold. We're then going to create another cut a little bit further down the page, again, fold to fold. This is where you need to start paying attention. 
This is where the kind of origami feel of this process comes together. You want two of your three pieces to fold inwards and you want one to fold outwards. So the best way to do it is to fold the two inwards and to have the outside piece fold outwards. This way you're creating the scores where you need to fold naturally. We're then going to do the opposite where we're going to fold these guys outwards and the middle one inwards. We're now going to add a third fold by just folding the smaller pieces into themselves. You'll see that the fold meets the center fold and now that you've scored them, it's really straightforward to see where they need to meet. As you can see again, I'm putting the fold at the center fold and folding it down. Make sure that they're really tucked in and that they fold really nice and flat. I'm now going to do the same thing with my bigger piece. I'm going to make sure that the fold meets the center fold and fold it down flat. Alright, now that we have all the pieces folded beautifully, I'm going to add a little bit of watercolour to mine. Now, you can obviously use yours for whatever need you want for it. I'm personally going to use it for goals because I wanted something that was a little bit more fun to keep me entertained in November for my goals. You can see here with my Amy Tangerine paint, Happy Planner always holds up well to watercolour. And once we get into it, you can see that the plan goals have come out really fun and really vibrant. And I've got little hidden sections on almost every single page. Such a great way to add some extra space in and also to create something fun and a little bit different. thank you so much for visiting with us today if you'd like to follow us more on the next slide you can see all of the places you can find us we're on Instagram Facebook and Pinterest and if you want to send us an email feel free to do so don't forget to comment your amazing goals below and hit the subscribe button see you next time